Just moving on to you all as manager and football matters, club was under a transfer embargo. Is this still the case? I believe it's lifted today. Um, we had we got an email from HMRC confirming our nil balance, and uh, that's been sent to the conference. So uh, we'll be signing at least one player tomorrow. Okay, you mentioned on Monday that Reese is obviously returning back to Aldershot. I think following Saturday's game. That's correct. Have we finalised position on the other loan players? And if so, are there any more likely to be leaving? Uh, we have an agreement with Aldershot that uh, Doug can stay for the rest of the season. That hasn't been finalised yet because his loan isn't up yet, but we have an agreement on that one. Uh, Tom Lovelock is confirmed for the rest of the season. Uh, we've uh, not renewed the situation with Jack Holland, who was injured for a lot of the end of his loan uh, with Crystal Palace. And um, we, I can tell today that we have agreed to sign um, Bobby Trainer from Kingstonian. Bobby is averaging 25 goals a season with the Ryan Premier. Uh, he's been with Kingstonian for over five years. Uh, he is the only type of player that we're willing to spend money on at the moment. Uh, a straightforward striker can play up there on his own or can play slightly wider. I think it's fair to say Bobby needs a change. He's been there a long time. Uh, ultimately, I wasn't willing to sanction him for the rest of the season. We certainly haven't paid a fee. So we've taken him on loan for for a month, starting this weekend. And we'll see how it goes. He needs to impress us, and I think we need to impress him. And if it works out well in the month, then it'll certainly be with a view to taking him for the rest of the season and potentially next season. He's an outstanding player. He's got a lot of goals at only one level before. He's actually been at Farnborough, I believe, about eight years ago. He's excited. He knows it's a great opportunity for him. It's going to be difficult and he's got to prove his worth. But obviously losing Reese is a massive blow. So we have uh, Olu in from Woking, uh, again on loan at the moment, and we'll, again we'll see how that develops. But certainly we are short up front and uh, I'm very pleased to have somebody of Bobby's calibre. And he's, he's got a real desire, I've spoken to him a number of times, he's really keen to come and he'll be training tomorrow night. Okay. What do you believe the team's realistic position should be in the league based on ability? Are we top five, middle of the table, or scrapping around the relegation zone? Well, right now we're scrapping around the relegation zone because that's a fact. Mm. Uh, the reality to this is now that, uh, obviously, as I said before, I don't take any budget out of the, the playing budget. and We are less than a third of the budget that the club offered last year. Therefore, we're definitely, on budget-wise, should be around the bottom. I believe we can avoid relegation, it's a very tough ask and I, I'm asking the supporters to bear with the team. It's not easy, we're not going out signing players on big budgets, yes, with the exception of we do need a forward in or two. Um, ultimately players have come from lower levels, I think they've done okay, however I think some of the uh, supporters are being a bit harsh on them. We've got to be realistic on and off the pitch. We don't have a big amount of money. We're not going to be spending big money. And what I've got at the moment is a dressing room full of players who, number one, desperately want to play for Farnborough. They're working incredibly hard. And we've had some, I think, a, a pretty decent start in the first two months. We've had some very difficult games, and I think we've done well. But we've got to be realistic. And, and certain elements giving them a hard time, they, to certain players, I think is harsh because... Some of them will make it, I said it on day one, some of them won't. And, but they've not just come from lower levels, I mean just picking on an example, Miles Smith was at West Ham and Wickham and he came to me at Chertsey for a month and people give him a hard time. He's a quality player, a very young player, and he will make mistakes, but he wants to play from Farnborough, he, he comes from an absolutely ridiculous distance to, to, to play here for next to no money, and in our current climate we've got to be realistic and we need the supporters to get behind the team. And I thought on Saturday the support in the, in the last half an hour in particular, when we went down to 10 men and Miles made a mistake, uh, was absolutely outstanding because they sung and they sung and they sung. And I know we were 4 nil up but it was great to get a clean sheet as well. So we need to have realism off the pitch and realism on the pitch. At the moment we are paying a relatively very small budget, certainly exceptionally small compared to other years. Our attendances are down and we need people to get in and support us. It's a real battle to avoid relegation. Then hopefully there will be a new owner in and we can reassess the situation. I can sit down with the new owner's board to discuss where we go from there and, and hopefully then get us back where I hope you know we should be, which I'd like to say is at least a division higher. Looking further ahead, do you think Farnborough has the capability of becoming a league club? Right now, no. Um, I think it's unrealistic. Uh, we may have the ground, but we don't have the infrastructure and the support to do that. However, 
I'm here to win football matches and ultimately we've got the potential to do that. The club really has the potential to do that but it's going to need some real support and, and from the ground up a, a lot of new infrastructure put in place from accounting all the way through the commercial side of it. We need to look at AstroTurf pitches to bring in income and for training and to increase the facilities we have here. But it's a fantastic club, you know, I've met an awful lot of great people already in the first couple of months, most of which get paid absolutely nothing, uh, and there's certainly the potential for it, but right now it's certainly not a league club, and we've got to again keep reality, we, we need to make sure we keep our status in, in, in the Conference South. One final question, any final comments for these sporters? Obviously you've thanked them already. For the... I, just desperate for them to get behind us and, and, to, and to please bear with us, be realistic. Uh, we. We don't um, ask the impossible, I don't ask the impossible of the players. Um, we've got a great opportunity here um, to get the club now on an even keel and invite new owners to come in and, and new owners will look at the supporters and I hope that happens as soon as possible. And We need your support more than ever. It's going to be tough avoiding relegation but I can assure you the players really appreciate it as do I when you get behind us um, through these difficult games and um, I'm sure we'll come out alright in the future really can be very positive here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.